Okay, y'all, I done filmed this intro a lot of times. Okay, so if I start saying I'm messing up, just bear with me. Hello. Listen, if you are still subscribed to this channel, first of all, I'm rude. Welcome to my first weekly vlog. Um, if you are still subscribed to this channel after my two-year hiatus, you are a real one, and I thank you. <laughs> Um, welcome back. Good to see you. How you been? Okay. Um, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Mel and thanks for following or watching this vlog for whatever reason you're watching it currently. Um, I am a project manager by day and I'm also building my own project management and consulting agency on the side. On this channel, you can expect for me to talk about the very, very imperfect journey of faith, life, and wellness. I'm also on my fitness journey. I'm doing a 12-week year. So we're going to talk about productivity. Um, I also do career and business tips. Like I said, um, by day, I do project management for like um, large healthcare organizations, primarily in the IT space, healthcare IT-ish, but I do like strategic operational projects too. Um, so basically, I work with like the CEOs of large healthcare organizations, helping them implement their strategic projects. And then also, I have my own project management consultant agency where I do project management, operations management, and professional development, career coaching for impact-driven, multi-hyphenate professionals and entrepreneurs. So I help them with their launches. I help them manage their clients. I help people with resumes and interviews and transitioning into the careers and businesses that, they, they, that align with their gifts. Um, so yeah, if you are interested in that journey or tips with that, go ahead and click the like button, click the subscribe button and follow your girl. This is the year of transformation through execution. This is the time for me and us to exit our lazy girl, lazy guy era. Okay. Like I said, I was, I was off, off YouTube, off my podcast, off my business for two years. And I am literally kicking myself in the butt to be the person I already am. It's not even about blowing up. It's about literally just walking as the person that I already am. So um, yeah, if you're interested in that, follow along on the journey for this weekly vlog. We're going to start in Miami. Okay. A little impromptu trip. It's my camp, my friend Kim's 30th birthday. Um, so we are going to Miami to celebrate her and bring in the new year. And then I'm also onboarding a client for my consulting agency next week. Um, so I will bring y'all along that journey and show you kind of what I do in my project management business. And then, of course, again, by day, I'm a contractor as a project manager. So I'll bring y'all along the projects that I manage. And yeah, let's get started. Hey, y'all. Happy Saturday. So we are prepping to go to Miami. My flight leaves at literally 430 something. I think they board at like 350 and it is currently noon. <laughs> but I was able to get my lashes done. Um, I tried a new girl today. She literally let me walk right in. I will link her down below. But sis did her thing okay i know y'all was probably looking at the intro video like now nah, girl you know you need to feel so anyway got my lashes done i'm finna run over to perimeter see if i already have outfits for you know the things that we're doing but i'm just gonna run in there and see i need to go to target and sephora so listen you will learn about me that i i like chaos i like to do things at the last minute i don't know it fuels me so we're gonna get done and we're gonna get to the airport on time okay bye y'all it is 2:35. boarding it is 2:35. boarding starts at 356 and it is current and i will get there at 307 Let's pray that my pre-check and my clear and my digital ID get me through on time because I am not certain. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to make it. I don't think I'm going to make it. Made it to Miami. <laughs> Barely made this right, but shout out to pre-check, clear, and digital ID is your best friend if you are flying out of Atlanta. And yeah, let's get started. Thank you. How do we do the gimbal? Okay. It's Kim's birthday. We in Miami. We, we in her stumping grounds. And we're about we to go to Houston. Period. And yeah, we're trying to figure out how to work this gimbal. Cause press that button, maybe. Oh, okay. So it automatically. Okay. So does this extend? I don't know. That what? zooms in and out. 
And I'll make it go up so we can see our, oh no, the other way. There we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Period. Right. That's what are you, Kim, looking forward to on your birthday weekend? Nothing. I feel like I'm not going to set expectations mm -hmm. so that I can be surprised, so I can be present. Yes. And I can be grateful for everything that happens. Yes. I feel like it's going to be a great time. Mm -hmm. And so I have nothing to worry about. I'm just excited. It's gonna be a great, grand time. I'm happy that you're here. It's, always it's going already to be here. becoming even more special because you're here. Aww. So, yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, we'll be back when we are in the streets. Period. Birthday girl. Looks good. Come on, sis. Yes. A great time at Morton Steakhouse yes. with the girls. We had a great dinner. We had scallops. We mm -hmm. had mashed potatoes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> we had truffle fries. Now we are heading to a lounge. Where are we going? A duck cave. Duck cave. A duck cave. <laughs> What's up? If, if something happened to me, it's she you. Did it. It's him. It's him. He's taking us. He's taking us to a hub. He's taking us to a hub in Fort Lauderdale. He's not gonna take us back. He's leaving us our own. He's leaving us our own demise. Bye. We are done leaving. What was that place called? Yeah, we going to Amsterdam. That's called the hub. We going to the Netherlands. Now we going to the Netherlands. We going to Europe. We not going to Europe. We going to they are taking us to Europe. <laughs> Y'all, we had a time last night. <laughs> Good morning, Happy New Year's Eve. So we had a time last night, y'all. We got in at what, like four thirty? Oh, yeah. And now we are going to a 10 a.m. massage. I'm going to be sleep. All the way sleep. Apparently, <laughs> I thought people were trying to rob and kill us last night. Maybe. It was a whole thing, okay? Maybe. But <laughs> we are on our way to get sane. <laughs> Made it there. We are like 20 minutes late, y'all. <laughs>
Hey y'all, okay, so it is January 3rd. We are about to go to a Hawks event. We are in the Top Golf Suite today with a lady, um, a women's group that I joined in Atlanta for people who wanna get into golfing. So they are having an event tonight at the Hawks game. So we're gonna go, I'll bring y'all along on that ride. Um, listen, y'all have not seen me since Miami. It is January 3rd. Um, when I got back from Miami, I was supposed to get back at 8 a.m. I did not get back until 1 p.m. because I ended up having to switch my flight because I was tired. Um, so I didn't get back till 1 after that. I was literally so dog tired. I came home and I rested. Um, and then the last couple of days, I've just been really trying to drill in my morning routine. So I will post, I'll show you a screenshot of my morning routine so you can grab it. Um, and I'll also link the TikTok where I talk about it below. But essentially, I'll be getting up at 5 a.m., spending time with God for myself. I'm also trying to read the Bible in a year this year. So if if you want to join me on that plan, I will link it below as well. But essentially, I'm trying to read the Bible in a year. So I start off my day reading the word and then I do like prayer journaling where it's like a mixture of like praying, but then also like writing out my prayers, but then also like journaling out my thoughts, things like that. So I take the first hour to do that. Then I go and work out. Um, I got a new personal trainer. I will link her below as well. She does online training and in-person training in Atlanta. But I really like her. I've used her before and her child, her workouts are super challenging. So I'm trying to get on my workout kick. I don't know if I said it earlier in the intro, but I'm trying to lose like 20, 30 pounds probably even 40 pounds this year. Um, so my fitness goal is probably my number one goal this year. And then after I work out, I shower, eat, get myself together. Then I do something, one thing towards either my content or towards a passion or towards my business growth or whatever before I actually start the official work day. So I'll probably do a separate video where I talk about my morning routine and where y'all can actually see what I do. But yeah, so I've really just been trying to get that, get that down pat. I've also been moving. So I moved myself at the end of December, and now my furniture is starting to come in. It was a whole ordeal. Child fed is about maybe cry today, okay? Because I was sleeping on the couch. They was not delivering my mattress. They was taking to other places. Child, listen, I don't know what fed is got going on right now, but it was a whole ordeal. But everything is starting to finally come in. So I'll show y'all this weekend, just me unboxing and being Bob the Builder. Uh, Barbara, the builder. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've been busy with that, trying to get my workouts together, child. By the time I'm done my work, I'll be sleep because these workouts be wearing me out. So, <laughs> so yeah, so I had to, I had to take a couple of days to just reset, okay? But again, I think it's really important to have balance in your life. And that's why today I really should not be going out because I have so much stuff to do. But I really want to show that for myself, really, that balance is important. Hobbies are important. Friendships, connections, networking is just as important as your career, fitness, business goals. So that's why I'm making the point to be intentional and still go out tonight um despite being busy so i'm gonna bring y'all along the ride and yeah let's go I was about to say it again. So <laughs> I just got done with client calls today. I The client call that I had for my new client that I just onboarded went really, really, really well. So with that client, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but just maybe this is just a little project management um, rant or what I do as a freelance project manager and a contract project manager. So um, this is one of my freelance clients. Again, as I mentioned, maybe I can't remember. It was a brand consulting firm and she wants me to come in and help her streamline her operations so that they can have better, better client experience, but they can also operate more efficiently as a team. So I was able to come in and like look at all of her processes and her documentation. And then based off of that, I gave a lot of recommendations, um, but she was very open and receptive to them all, which is always good. Cause sometimes you deal with clients that are pretty resistant to change or pretty stuck to like, their ways of working but it's always good when you have a client that um, is open to your suggestions so she took all of my recommendations really well um, and so now I'm going to put those recommendations in the form of like an end-to-end -end process document so that you know from the time a client is onboarded to a client to the time a client is offboarded it's very clear 
what role each team member, team member plays and um, you know, being able to create that seamless experience for everyone involved. So I'm gonna create that document, um, probably not today, I'll probably get to it tomorrow. Um, but she was really, really receptive to that. And then she always wa she also wants me to help her manage her current clients and her new clients. That's my refrigerator, if you can hear it. <laughs> um, but she also wants me to manage her, pro her project, her client projects. And so she was kind of giving me a debrief on that. And from there, um, she's going to get me onboarded and get me introduced to the clients and I'll be able to take that over from her. Um, so yeah, if you are a business owner and you need help, <laughs> you need help, you know, working more efficiently, um, you need help, you know, having better systems, tools, documentation, processes so that you can work smarter, not harder. Or if you are, you know, service-based if you are a service based or really any business um, and you have clients that you need or clients and or projects that you need help managing on the day to day and you kind of want to take yourself out of the project manager seat so that you can be back in the CEO seat. Um, feel free to reach out to me. I'm definitely accepting clients for uh, Q1 and ongoing for this year. So I will leave my um, info below so that you can check out my website and see some of the services that I offer. Um, so yeah, so that was my first new client of 2024 that I onboarded. And then I also, um, as I mentioned, I'm a contractor um, as a project manager for large healthcare and IT organizations. And so I currently have a contract with um, one of the largest healthcare organizations in the country where I'm helping their C-suite leaders with some of their strategic projects. And so right now um, that organization is on Epic. And so Epic is an EHR for those who aren't in healthcare and don't know. But um, so they are doing a big Epic upgrade and doing some um, implementations there. So I'm, good, I'm playing as the lead project manager. We just went through a phase one and now we are about to start phase two. So the call I had with them today was really just to understand what their requirements were for phase two, make sure that all the stakeholders were very clear on what we could probably deliver and or not deliver, get a better understanding of their timeline. I like to do all of that kind of goal setting requirements gathering before I even create a project plan, which is what any project manager should do. Um, yeah, make sure that you're very clear on what the goals are, what we are gonna do, what we're not gonna do, <laughs> what we can do, what we cannot do. Just having that level of transparency on the front end is so helpful. That way, when you actually start the project plan and start tracking along, no one can say you didn't know, um, or if things get added, then you know there's a process in place. Um, but you wanna try to avoid that as much as you can on the front end, but of course it's unavoidable. People will always add on stuff and that's just, what we manage as project managers, but you wanna to try to avoid it where you can. So um, so sorry that call today. We will have uh, other calls on that as well. And yeah, that's kind of what I do. You know, I toggle back and forth between working, you know, as a contractor and then working as a freelancer and then also working on my, my content brand. So I'm really trying to be consistent with my content on YouTube and TikTok mainly. Um, this year and then also wanting to build out my business. So wanting to not just do uh, be a freelancer, but really I do have a consulting agency, but really wanting to function as an agency. So, you know, thinking about what that will require client wise and and um, income wise, sometimes it can be hard, uh, you know, working on everyone else's businesses and brands because then sometimes you don't have time to work on your own but that's probably what i'm going to take some time to do today is just you know um think about what clients i want to take what clients i don't want to take what services i want to keep what services i don't want to keep and kind of what that next you know year to three year goal would look like and yeah so now that we're done with calls i really want to take a nap <laughs> but i don't know i may take a nap i'm not gonna hold you but what I need to do now is I need to get a cardio session in because my trainer wants us to do extra cardio this week, at least three days a week this week. So I need to do that. Um, I need to also run to the store and get a couple of items. I thought out some salmon. I'm going to do some salmon rice bowls today for dinner. So I need to cook. And then after that, like I said, I may work on the business and work on my content for the day. And I think that's it. So Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. Okay, so I am taking a quick lunch break. I didn't bring y'all on this morning because I was just doing my normal routine. I woke up super late. I woke up at like seven o'clock. 
because I was supposed to wake up at five. And so I had to rush. I had to do my gym. I was at the, at the gym for like an hour and a half. I was just in the zone. Sano, let me tell you what will make a difference in your gym routine. Hold up. Let me find it. If it's the best behind me, no matter. So let me show you my pre-workout. So I'm gonna talk about my pre-workout, I'm gonna tell you about my lunch, and then I'm gonna to talk to you about um, a business tool that projects man project managers can use for um, when they wanna like map out processes. So we'll all do that in this little talk. So this acetyl, let me see if I can focus it. I'm using my phone. Acetyl l cartony. when I say this makes the biggest difference in your workouts, like I was in the gym for an hour and a half and I had to make myself leave because like I had so much energy and I just felt like I could lift heavier. Cardio, I was actually running, which I, I'm not a runner. I'm not a runner. I have a hole in my dress. <laughs> anyway, um, this makes a difference in your workout. So um, my trainer recommends like take seeing the Oxy Shred, which I take the Oxy Shred. I don't know if I already showed you all this in the vlog, but I take the Oxy Shred and the glutamine, L-glutamine powder. I take that first thing in the morning, whether I work out or not, I feel like I'm repeating myself, so I probably did say this. But today I added the acetyl L-cartonine and it made a world of difference. So I got this from Amazon. You can also get it off from EHP Labs. Um, so yeah, so I did that. Worked out for an hour and a half, came back. Um, I posted the day in the life TikTok, which actually is doing really, really well on both TikTok and Instagram, which makes me really happy as a content creator. Um, so now, okay, one thing, other thing I wanted to talk about was I just said how, oh, let me close this cabinet. Um, so I was just talking about how my day in the life vlog went well. And it's crazy because I think we as content creators, especially me, I'm super, super, such a perfectionist. And maybe I'll do a separate vlog on my whole like content creation journey. But essentially I started a blog back in 2017, started my first business, which was a career coaching business slash um, business coaching, like basic level business coaching business back in 2018. And I stopped because I felt like, I don't know, I just felt like it wasn't needed. I kind of talked myself out of it. I would base like my success based off of people that were watching it. You know, at that time it was mostly friends and family. And of course they're gonna support, but you know, like when you're an entrepreneur or content creator, when you try to do anything, like sometimes they don't know how to support or the support that you need is different. You need to ask your actual audience, your customers, your clients, and those aren't necessarily your family and friends. I'll put it that way. And um, I stopped. So I took like a two years off. Um, I wasn't even really that consistent to begin with, if I'm being really real. Um, so I took like two years off where I didn't do anything in my business. I didn't do anything content wise. And now like just started back again. I feel like a lot of that like anxiety around creating content and like I didn't even want to think about it. I have so much footage, but then when it comes to like editing it, I start like started to talk myself out of it. Like, oh, this isn't good or who's going to watch it. You know, all that imposter syndrome that starts to creep up creep up or you start to watch other creators or like i don't have you know i do have a camera but i halfway don't know how to work it <laughs> and um you know i have the camera i don't have the best mics again i have mics i'm still trying to figure out how to work it but it's like at what point am i like okay i'll just learn it as i go and i'll go with the equipment that i have you know and even with the day in the life like I was using my phone to capture both YouTube content and TikTok content, and I just felt like all over the place, but it actually turned out really good. Um, and of course, like there are ways to improve, but I'm really happy with the content, with the engagement that I got from it. Um, and I'll just say that to say that if you are trying to create content or even pursue whatever passion, like maybe you're really, really good at your job, but you're trying to passion project that you're still learning, or maybe, you know, you are pivoting your business to something that maybe you're not an expert in. Like I know how to do content marketing. I know what sales, I know what people like to see. But when it comes to like the actual like technical editing and making sure the lighting is right and all that stuff, child, I kill us. But it's important. So I'm learning as I go. And I say that to say that, you know, don't be afraid to be a beginner. I saw this um TikTok video where it says like don't be afraid to be seen trying. And so like me putting my life out here, I don't really care about being vulnerable, but it's like, I want it to look a certain way and I'm kind of getting over it. And that's why I'm still doing the weekly vlog, even though who knows what this footage is gonna look like, y'all. Who knows if y'all can even hear me. <laughs> but I'm, I'm trying and I'm going to be consistent. I feel like my 2024 goals 
Um, I had like a million goals and God really cut them all down to like three. And it was like, spend time with me, um, make spending time with me a priority, get to know me for who I am, not just out of like religion, but out of relationship. So that was my number one priority. The number two was taking care of your physical health, um, which I conclude physical and mental in that, but really like being physically healthy, working out, getting the weight off, not because I feel like I'm overweight, which I am for me, but um, I just know that I wasn't healthy, like my, my habits weren't healthy. So it's more so about building better uh, habits when it comes to my physical health. And then also um, creating content. So creating content consistently, being creative consistently and not like, um, like coming out of hiding pretty much. And so I'll talk a little bit about, you know, my year last year, how I went through a horrible, horrible relationship and breakup and stuff like that. And how I kind of just lost myself in general over the last couple of years, just kind of, you know, wandering around <laughs> living my life. But all that to say, you know, if you are starting in 2024 with something that you aren't an expert in as a perfectionist that is on here showing up anyway, I want to encourage you to show up anyway and be found trying, be found, you know, um, a beginner because my vlogs, I don't know what they look like right now, but by this time next year, they're going to be, you know, good. They're going to be great. And, you know, I may get to the end of the year and be like, you know, what? I don't want to do this, but at least I gave myself the opportunity to try, you know, I feel like we talk ourselves out of things before we can even really find our own rhythm. So, all right, just got done with the second workout of the day. It's still Tuesday. Um, I just got off of a call with the um, this new group that I am joining in Atlanta. So if you're trying to meet friends in 2024, you need to uh, find local groups in your city. You can find them on the apps Geneva Mighty Networks. You can search for them on Instagram and TikTok. Um, and so I joined the hiking group. I have a golfing group that if you're watching, I think I already probably showed y'all in this vlog. And then I have another one for professional women. And then um, I'm also in the accountability group with my trainer. So if you are looking to make new friends, there's a really easy ways to do that. Maybe I'll do a separate video um, of like how to make new friends and rebuild your circle when friendships and connections and relationships change. But yeah, so I just got off a call with them. I am tired, but y'all, I still got work to do. Like I said, I woke up late, so <laughs> I'm going to shower, make some tuna salad, remake the tuna salad that I made yesterday. And we're probably going to work for the rest of the night. So I will see y'all probably tomorrow or Thursday. Thursday, we have a pretty jam-packed day, so it may be Thursday when I see y'all again. All right, bye. January 13th. It is my Founders Day. Shout out to the wonderful women, the lovely ladies of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. It's our Founders Day today. Yesterday was our chapter, um, was our charter day. Um, so it was our chapter's 50th anniversary. Uh, so shout out to the Kappa Upsilon chapter um, at Auburn KU. The girls, we love you. And yeah, so I'm in Auburn right now. We have a bunch of uh, festivities planned. Uh, yesterday we had a pajama party. Today we're gonna do a gala and a walk this morning. Um, gala in the uh, tonight or whatever. Um, and so yeah, I'm happy to be with my line sisters. I am happy to be with my pro fights, all the women who paved the way um, before me. So yes, it's a good day. I'm happy, I'm at peace. It was a very, very busy week this week, so I couldn't even, after Wednesday, everything else was a blur. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, it was a good week, a good productive week. I'm happy to have this little break, mini vacay, and then we'll get back to